Hello everyone, welcome to my class. I am Dr. Ganesh Kumar from India. Today we are going to discuss about the introduction about Internet of Things. Today the world, everyone speaks about Internet of Things. The world is completely changing towards to the IoT. So today in our of session, we are going to see that how the Internet of Things works and how the data flow and where it can be applied. The Internet of Things, the intelligent connectivity of physical devices. So generally, the devices are going to be connected, but here the intelligent connections is going to play a vital role. It is going to dri drive, it is going to driving the massive gains in terms of efficiency, business and the quality of life. Moreover, the things are going to be connected and it is going to address the great benefits towards to the business needs. In fact, in the year 2020, there are 50 billion devices, 50 billion things are going to connect to an internet and this number is going to be a seven times the human population. Now let's see what the basics of internet of things. If you look at this diagram, normally in any human beings, we used to have a five senses, visibility, hearing the things, tasting the things and touching and feelings, at last smell the things. These are all the five senses, which is very important for any human beings. Through that only we can able to sense or smell anything around us. The same concept has been used in the Internet of Things. So this five senses, what it does, all these things has been converted into sensors, transducers, so that it is going to identify the physical characteristics of any sense will be identified through the identifying sensors and then those informations are going to be transferred through the telecommunication infrastructures to reach the internet world. This is the basics. Next, we are going to see that how this is going to be happen in the real world scenario and what are all the major layers which is going to play in an internet of things. If you look at this diagram, totally this internet of things going to consist of four layers, which is going to be a sensing layer, communication layer, data collection layer, data storage layer and then data presentation. From this, if you look at it here, the data collection where all such informations are going to be collected by means of the sensing parts, by means of sensing sensors and transducers. So all such informations are going to be collected in data collection layer and then whatever the collected informations are going to be transferred through the communication medium to by means of internet it is going to reach the repositories. So these informations are going to be stored in the data storage in the cloud platform and then that informations are we generally we call it as an raw data information. By using a raw data information we are going to provide a lot of intelligence to that data from the data from the raw data what the intelligence informations can be able to we can take out that will be the major brain of this internet of things. So that will be done through this data analytics layer. So this data analytics from the data analytics the raw data informations are extracted and then intelligent informations will be taken from this data analytics layer at last that intelligent data's intelligent informations are going to be presented into the world. So what kind of sensors are going to be used in IoT world? If you look at it here, automotive, transportation, chemical, electric current, electric potential, magnetic, radio, flow, sensors, position, speed, accurate, displacement sensors, optical, light, imaging, photon sensors, pressure sensors, thermal, heat and temperature, at last the proximity sensors. 
it is not only limited to this sensors depends on the applications we can extend it to any type of sensors or any type of transducers can be used to collect the informations from the field iot smart x applications by using this sensors by using this infrastructure by using this all the four layers we are going to create our iot smart x applications this iot smart x applications which is diversifying in the all the domains it is not restricted to any other information and communication technology domain so irrespective of any domain this can be used starting from smart cities smart energy and the smart grid smart mobility and transport smart home smart buildings smart infrastructure smart factory smart manufacturing smart health food water tracking and security smart logistics and retail these are all comes under iot smart x applications next we are going to discuss few of the applications like smart city smart environment smart health how we can use it in a real time world iot applications as i said it is not only limited to single domain diversifiedly we can use it in across the multiple domains it starting from energy transportation education health commerce travel and tourism finance it and environment applications so each and every domain they are going to have an industry clouds which is going to have an own industry cloud these clouds are completely proprietary based as well as it is going to be a eco friendly standard systems how to enabling this technologies will help the internet of things iot enabling technologies there are four major technologies which is going to support the iot also it is going to act as a backbone of iot technology this enabling technology it starts from rfid sensors smart technology and nanotechnology if we start from rfid the rfid is to identify and track the data of the things and for a sensor to collect and process the data to detect the changes in the physical status of the things and smart technology to enhance the power of the network by developing processing capabilities to different parts of the network at last the nanotechnology the energy is going to be a big concern so to conserve the energy to consume a less power devices we are going to use that we call it as a nanotechnology nanotechnology sensors that is to make the smaller and smaller things so that the energy consumption as well as the ability to connect and also can interact with all other devices this iot enabling technologies which is going to support in the major domains like a smart manufacturing building and home automation smart cities and wearables healthcare and automotive now we are going to see few of the applications if we take about the smart cities for each and everything if we talk about the smart city alone there are number of things are going to be done through that iot if we discuss alone this it will take a longer time so majorly we are going to focus what are all the major factors we are considering for any smart city projects in a smart city projects if we consider the first and primary factors smart parking by means of monitoring of parking spaces availability in the city and the structural health the monitoring of vibrations and the materials locations and conditions and buildings and bridges what are all the historical monuments everything will be monitored and noise urban maps traffic congestion monitoring of vehicles and how the traffic congestions in the city in different locations and working routes also and alternate route also it is going to advise it smart lighting waste management and smart roads it is not only limited to this seven we can extend it for further directions also smart environment which covers the forest fire reduction air pollution snow level monitoring landslide and avalanche prevention earthquake early reduction and many more things comes under a smart environment smart water because water is a very basic fundamental things for any human beings 
as well as any animals. So, the portable water monitoring, monitoring of the quality of the water supplied to the cities, chemical leakage deduction to the rivers, water pollutions can be controlled by means of this chemical leakage deduction in rivers and swimming pool remote measurements to control the pH level of water in the pools, pollution levels in the sea, control and real time leakage of any chemicals or whatever it is a contamination can be monitored, river floods etc. Security and emergencies, perimeter access control which is going to directly related to the geographical boundary limits, liquid presence, radiation levels, explosive and hazardous gas identifications. If you see this, every person try to use the smart devices in their day to day life. So, if you take this diagram itself, one human being can have one smart cap or helmet, smart glass, smart earrings, smart clothes, smart shirt, smart belt, smart watch, smart rings and smart shoes. So, the prediction is as we rightly mentioned that in the year 2020 around 50 million devices are going to be connected in the internet which is going to be the seven folds of the human population. So, every person requires at least 10 IP address so that all these 10 devices are going to connect to the internet. So, without IoT it is not imaginable in future. So, from this we can conclude that the IoT is having a four layers which can be used for all the diversified all the domains right from the education to industry and environment to for a government we can use it for any applications. Thank you for watching.